with Kira Davis and the author of the brand new book, Drawing Lines, Why Conservatives Must Begin to Battle Fiercely in the Arena of Ideas that's available for pre-order on Amazon right now. And just to recap what's been going on as we've been dipping in and out of different topics uh, across the podcast, uh, Attorney General Merrick Garland has announced that he has appointed a special counsel to, to investigate Joe Biden's yeah. documents that have been found. Where we've got two sets of documents that have been found, possibly three, as I'm hearing, and also apparently the White House is claiming they didn't know about this special counsel that was going to be appointed, so they didn't know that Garland was going to be giving this address to the nation and this statement to the nation. That's what the news coming out of the White House right now. We're waiting on. Um, we're waiting on KJP and the rest of the White House team to provide a briefing at the White House on those remarks. So we'll try to keep you updated. If there's anything interesting to cut to, we'll, we'll go ahead and cut to those comments. Um, I can't imagine that KJP is going to say anything that's particularly coherent or interesting, but maybe sometimes that's the show, right? how ridiculous she sounds. So we'll see. We'll keep you informed. But we've been talking about this, and I wanted to continue to talk about this because, as I said before the break, something else is going on here. There's 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 a deeper river running under this, and I'd like to get to to that. So joining me about this topic some more is Deputy Managing Editor of Red State and radio host Susie Moore. Susie, welcome to the Dan Bongino Show. Thanks, Kira. I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, yeah. So... We've been covering at Red these, these uh, Biden documents. And I have to say, Susie, that there, I have a couple of questions I would love to get your comments on. First of all, um, it's really hard to know how concerned we should be about these documents because we don't know what they are. Have you heard any rumors or done any research on what they might be and why we, sh why we should be concerned about it at all? Yeah, and I haven't done a lot of research on it, but I did see a story that came out yesterday that indicated that the documents, at least the ones that were found at the Penn Biden Center, had to do, you know, were related to Ukraine and the UK and Iran. So they clearly had to do with, you know, foreign, foreign support. But I haven't seen, I haven't delved deeper into that to exactly what they're saying they were. And these are documents that came from his time as vice president. Right. Correct. Right. Oh. Correct. So, and, and that's interesting. I mean, you know, we're not in the business of totally connecting the dots for you. So there are some liability issues, but, you know, it is interesting to consider that there are some issues that the Biden administration or before the, he became the Biden administration, the Bidens wanted to keep, I'll say, safe. And, and so took the, the whole, the whole idea of what's going on. This being compared to what they did to Trump, suddenly the media is really interested in classified documents. For the first day that this story broke, there were all kinds of points that gone out. It was like, oh, this is not the same as the Trump thing. But now the media uh, narrative and the media mood seems to have shifted a little bit. I played a clip from um, Ed O'Keefe from yes, sort of having a contention. KJP over this, and the media now seems to be looking to hold Biden accountable for these documents. And I'm not, I'm not exactly convinced that it's an honest situation that's going on here. What, what's your opinion about the media point of view of this situation? Kara, I think I, I think I share your instincts on this. The first thing that I asked as soon as this story broke early in the week was, okay, why is this coming out now? Somebody has an agenda here. Somebody decided, made a determination that it was beneficial to get this information and this story out there. It didn't just happen. Um, that people that are 